host. I'm Katie Devlin. I'm the vice president of interoperability for Cotivity. I love helping streamline the data exchange process between providers, health systems, and payers. I think that is incredibly important as we move into sort of this new um, digital age. So what are some of the challenges that our clients face? I think most recently it's really navigating this regulatory landscape. It's figuring out what does TEFCA, the Trusted Exchange Framework and Common Agreement, mean for payers? Additionally, it's how does that fit in with the CMS interoperability regulations that just came out around maintaining particular APIs for provider data exchange, um, payer to payer data exchange, and then prior authorization. So it's figuring out how those all fit together, what that means for their organization, and then really doing a deep dive into their infrastructure and figuring out um, where do we even start and begin with that? Cotivity over the past few years has really invested heavily into the interoperability and uh, informatics space. We have a dedicated team that has made great progress working with our high volume health systems and data partners to acquire more digital information. So we're really trying to not leave any data on the table. We're trying to make partnerships with all different types of data partners and really trying to make the most of that data and ensure that it's high quality um, and highly usable for our clients. We are also focused a lot on the quality space and how we can help deliver value with the NCQA move to digital measures. Um, we're doing a lot of exploration with NCQA and our quality team at Cotivity to see what can we do to partner um, with them and help advance uh, the industry. How do we help our clients navigate the new frontier? I think when it comes to interoperability, this is all a new frontier to payers. It's really um, us sort of taking on the opportunity to do this research and educate our clients and partner with them to become compliant with the with the regulations, helping them understand what they need from an infrastructure or technology standpoint, and then also providing them with the data that they need um, to support quality reporting, risk adjustment coding, and um, other use cases. I think it provides just the highest level of care um, you know, by getting as much information as possible and having it at the fingertips of the health plan.